Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today I'm doing a collaboration with two awesome and wonderful people. The first person is this guy right here. His name is Phil from Daddy Cooks. You know who he is. The guy can cook whatever he put his hands to. Guaranteed it's going to be something tasty and it's going to look delicious, y'all. You understand what I'm saying? So the collaboration, we're going to do a Cajun seafood pasta dish. All right. The next person we have is this beautiful woman. Her name is Chef Glorious. Yes, indeed. I guarantee you that she's going to throw down in that kitchen for you. You understand what I'm saying? Check out our YouTube channel. It's called Chef Glorious. I'm leaving the description below to both of these awesome and wonderful people. So prepare yourself for something special. Ray, what are we cooking up today? We are doing Cajun shrimp pasta. Here's the ingredients. We have a 31 to 40 count medium sized shrimp. They already clean in the vein. And we have some parsley, some salt, some black pepper, some sun dried tomato basil from McCormick's and McCormick's Parmesan Alfredo with some complete seasoning with some black magic Cajun seasoning, some Parmesan cheese shredded, and some whipping cream, olive oil, and butter. So let's go ahead and put this together, y'all. All right, we're gonna season our shrimp with salt. Like I said, these shrimps are already deveined and clean, and shelled has been removed. So now we're going to use the black pepper and we're making Cajun shrimp pasta. You guys will love this recipe. Now I'm adding in the complete seasoning. This is definitely some good season y'all. Now I have the black magic Cajun seasoning. You could definitely use whatever type of Cajun seasoning you like or you could prefer to make your own. So I'm adding the parsley to this, dry parsley, or you could use the fresh parsley. So I'm going to combine now all of the ingredients with the shrimp. So we're going to move to the next process. We're going to get our skillet ready, dropping in a dollop of butter. All right. And this is one tablespoon of butter that I'm adding. So I want to get this skillet all coated with the butter. So we're going to go ahead and fry, fry. We're going to go ahead and cook our shrimp for two minutes per side. So the total cook time for your shrimp is going to be for four minutes, but you're going to cook it for two minutes per side. So after your shrimp is done on the first side for two minutes, you're going to go ahead and flip them and cook it again for an additional two minutes. It's looking good, y'all. It's looking good. Now our shrimp is done. Let's remove them from the skillet. And do you see that golden gold on the bottom of this here pan? Do not wash your pan, okay? We're gonna use this as flavoring. So we're gonna take us some olive oil. I think this is like a tablespoon of olive oil. And then we're gonna take that one pint of whipping cream. One pint of whipping cream and we're gonna pour the whole carton inside the skillet along with the olive oil. Now this is when you season up your, um, your whipping cream by scraping all of that gold from the bottom. This is, I tell you y'all, you will love the taste of this here. So now we brought this here whipping cream to a simmer. All right, so now we want to bring it down a little bit. So turn your heat down to about a medium, medium 
to low. So we're going to add in some Parmesan cheese. Now you could go ahead and, and dibble and dab in other cheeses or whatever the case may be. But we're going to use this here Parmesan cheese. And then on top of that, y'all, I seen this at Walmart, the McCormick Parmesan Alfredo seasoning, right? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this seasoning mix. And then I have some Parmesan sun-dried tomato seasoning mix. I just want to use a little bit of this stuff. I'm just experimenting, y'all. But you could definitely do the same thing that I'm doing, or you could omit these two first ingredients and just use the Parmesan cheese and go from there. So I'm adding in the Cajun seasoning. This black magic is off the hook. Along with that, I'm adding in more of this here complete seasoning and giving this a stir. So I just want to combine everything together with this here sauce. And now I'm adding in some cracked black pepper. I love pepper in just about everything that I cook. This would definitely um, give that extra edge or that extra kick to the sauce. So we're going to mix up everything, y'all. Now, to tell exactly how thick your sauce is, on the back of the spatula, just scrape your finger on there. If, it's, if it stands clear, just like this here, your sauce is ready. It's ready. It's ready. It is ready. <laughs> So go ahead and add in your pasta. You can use linguine, fettuccine, um, paninis, whatever you want to use as far as pasta goes. So I'm just using regular um, spaghetti. Now I'm adding in my cooked shrimp. And I'm telling you, the shrimp is good just like it is all by itself. So I'm giving everything a good mix, putting all of this here flavors together. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get ready to plate this thing up in just a little bit. But we're going to add some more Parmesan cheese. Like I said, you can experiment with other cheeses out there, y'all. You don't have to just use just the Parmesan. You can use other cheese ingredients to go with this here recipe. So I'm adding in some more of this here Cajun seasoning because that's what the recipe is all about. It's Cajun shrimp pasta. So let's go ahead, y'all. And get ready to stir this stuff up. And let's get ready to plate this baby up. I'm talking about some good stuff. Add you some more dry parsley to this just to make the color stand out. Or add you some fresh parsley to make the flavor stand out. It's done, y'all. Let's plate it up and let's go. Let's go. This is Ray Mack style. I'm loving it. And this was definitely good. Ah! Y'all got to try this here recipe. Whatever you do, if you don't try nothing else in life, try this here recipe. I guarantee you, you'll love it. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please now go over to check out Chef Lorius and see what she's cooking up today for us. And also go over to check out Phil from Daddy Cooks, all right? And see exactly what he's cooking up. I want to thank you guys so much for checking out this here video. Remember to subscribe and hit that there like button and leave a comment, all right? Thank you. Peace and love. Love and not hate. Bye-bye.